Good morning to our Any Prep families. I'm Coach JJ, the director of Any Prep, and I'd like to just take a second and talk about uh, the growing global concern around the COVID-19, also known as the coronavirus. <laughs> I wanted to provide you with an update on our response to this situation. Um, the health and safety and well-being of our parents and our players and our coaches and all of our guests that are in attendance during our development weekends and summer camps, spring teams are of top priority. Um, at this time, we are following the lead of the Alberta Health Services and the U.S. Public Health Service Department. And we currently stand committed to running our events as planned for 2020 until otherwise noted. First and foremost, I want to ensure that all players and families that we are being proactive in the situation. We are taking all appropriate measures to ensure the facilities we operate out of um, have, uh, are safe and have protocols to ensure that they stay this way. Although many of our players that attend most of these events, they remain predominantly regional, regional in nature. Um, furthermore, the demographics of the attendees at our events and the number of people in attendance um, or that are predicted to be in attendance are by and large under the age of 70 and under 100 people. They are not part of the vital service lines such as medical professionals, which are the current stipulations given by the health officials for events that should be postponed or canceled. Um, for all of our upcoming development weekends and midday academy events, we will be taking precautions to help prevent the potential spread of uh, the virus. Um, examples of additional safety measures that will be put in place will be we're introducing uh, inter enhanced cleaning protocols on high traffic and high contact areas such as locker rooms. Uh, the coronavirus are easily eliminated by routine surface cleaning. Uh, therefore, players and families can expect strict requirements for cleaning dressing rooms after training sessions so that the volunteer staff uh, can sanitize surfaces uh, before uh, the players leave and enter. We're going to increase the communications and reminders to players on the importance of health and safety measures as well as uh, social distancing measures that will be taking place during our training sessions. Um, players will remind Players will be reminded by all of us to avoid shaking hands, roughhousing, and any unnecessary physical contact while off the ice. No players shall share the same water bottle as another. <sighs> now, while the public health agencies have assessed the current public health risk associated with coronavirus as low, we will continue to monitor the developments very closely. We encourage all teams to stay up to date through our website and Instagram channel for any immediate changes that may occur. We are asking parents to donate bottles of dis disinfectant spray, wipes, and hand sanitizer to wipe down hands and clean high traffic areas and player equipment. All donations can be left at the front registration table um, at the at at uh, the development weekend, so so that we can continue to operate safely, we will be asking parent volunteers to take some time and help keep our high traffic areas sanitized and clean for our players and families after each use. Equipment should be left in the locker rooms after each training session uh, to be sprayed down with disinfectant. Um, this will help prevent any un any additional unnecessary touching and spreading of the bodily fluids through their equipment and moving all their stuff around. That being said, let's not be a group of panicked parents, but a group of proactive individuals on a mission to create the safest environment so our children can enjoy and participate in healthy activities through this whole ordeal. Thank you very much for listening. Now let's get to the rink and play some hockey. We'll see you this weekend.